Today we're gonna be making a quick scrapbook folio for Valentine's Day. Let's make it! Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. It's Marina here with another design team project for Knitwit collections. Knitwits have a special 30% off on three bundles till Friday, January 14 and now I'm gonna show you a couple of cards I made using the authentic collection which is one of the bundles that is on sale. These kits are definitely must-have kits for creating. Of course, as always, you can find the links for these bundles down below in the description area. Just look at this collection. The bold and confident pink and navy color palette of this digital scrapbooking and card making kit are the perfect blend to celebrate your life and personality. Let's go ahead to see today's project. It's a cute and so lovely folio to make for Valentine's Day. This bundle is called Puppy Love. The FQB kit has everything you need to create layouts, cards or anything else. But an extra touch is the little bit which includes sentiments and the solids and the Puppy Love too as well. This is a card I made using the What Not kit, which has pre-made cards that you can simply print them out and you've got an adorable card to share with your loved ones or friends. I made one pocket here beside this female poodle. Exactly the same thing on the other side with a male dog this time. And this card on the middle is another What Not card, which actually I used it as a simple fold out to stick two photos. We need to cut a piece of cardstock, and in my case, I'm using an ivory cardstock from American Crafts. We have across the scoring board the long side first and we are scoring at 7, 7.5, 21.5 and 22. These are the papers and some elements I printed to embellish the folio. Hopefully you can see how gorgeous they are.
Now I am going to use some magnets. First I put a liquid glue, I stick the magnets and I secure with a piece of clear cello tape. Then I put another piece of clear cello tape with the sticky side up, I stick the magnet and press it down firmly. Now I decided to print that card at 11 by 9 cm, so to create a card I cut a piece of cardstock 11.5 by 19 and fold it in half. Same here, I printed that card at 10.5 by 10.5 cm, so to create the fold out I cut a piece of cardstock 11.5 by 23 cm and fold it in half. That was the tutorial for today. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye!